Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about AWS Glue. AWS Glue is one of the most important services in AWS, especially if you are a data engineer, data analyst, or a data scientist looking to uh, explore and you know understand your data better. Okay. So what is AWS Glue? AWS Glue is a serverless data integration service. So what do I mean by that is AWS is serverless, so it's fully managed by AWS. You don't have to deploy any servers or anything to manage AWS Glue. Okay. So with that said, let's see what are the key features of AWS Glue. So AWS Glue helps you in data discovery, ETL and data cataloging. So these are the three important features of uh, AWS Glue and let's discuss each of these in detail. Okay, so the first main important uh, use case of AWS Glue is data discovery, data discovery, crawling and cataloging of your data. Okay, so let's take an example here. So if you have some uh, unstructured or semi-structured data in AWS, uh, sitting in AWS S3 bucket or your data lake, so AWS Glue can uh, crawler can actually crawl through that data and you know discover that schema, infer that schema for you, and uh, you know create a cat table in Glue catalog. Okay, so if you see the first step is you create a crawler and you establish a connection of that, uh, you know, crawler with S3 and then the crawler infers the schema and then it uh, creates a table in Glue catalog. Okay, and once the table is created in Glue catalog, you can then start querying it as if it were structured data or as if it were any, you know, SQL database. So you can connect these uh, catalog tables to Athena, Redshift and EMR and then start querying this data as if it were, you know, any database. Okay, so this is one of the most important features of AWS Glue and hel it helps you, you know, discover and, you know, explore your data without actually moving the data from your sources. So in this whole process, the data is actually still sitting in your uh, S3 itself, but you're able to query it from, you know, Athena, Redshift or EMR. Okay, so this is what uh, one of the most important features of AWS Glue is, you know, in uh, crawling through the data, inferring the schema and creating uh, uh, you know catalog tables and you can also use this glue catalog as uh, you know metadata repository for all your uh, data sources as you know uh, such as s3 rds redshift uh, dynamo db or any other database so yep glue catalog glue data catalog can also be an uh, metadata repository for all your data source data okay so now let's see the next important feature of uh, glue which is etl okay so etl which is also uh, extract transform and load so Glue supports running uh, ETL jobs um, on a serverless platform. So you don't, it actually under the hood, it runs Apache Spark, which is a very famous tool for uh, ETL. So uh, you don't ha actually have to uh, manage or deploy Spark servers. So you can just start writing your jobs and, you know, um, write your ETL jobs and just run them on the fly in it in AWS Glue. Okay, so you can uh, have your data source, anything like it can be S3 or anything. So you can run your, uh, write your, AWS Glue job in PySpark uh, and run it on AWS Glue without actually having to you know manage any servers or anything. So AWS uh, the Glue does all the deployment and management of Spark servers and then you can load it to a data target. So uh, this is one of the most uh, important features again in AWS Glue. Okay, so in the upcoming videos, I'm going to talk uh, how to use this uh, Glue crawler and Glue catalog tables to export the data in S3 and uh, etc. And also we are going to write some uh, ETL jobs in PySpark to see how to leverage ETL functionality of AWS Glue to transform the data and load it into our targets. Okay, so this was a very short video, video to uh, introduce you to what AWS Glue is. In the subsequent videos, we will discuss each of the features of AWS Glue and actually build something hands-on. Okay, thank you and I'll see you in the next video.